Alright guys, so as you can see here, um, uh, a motor of my Simex 11 broke down. So in this video I will show you how to replace a new motor from your Simex 11. And also be sure to buy the right motor. Um, I'll put a link in the description for different motors. Never mind, uh, I'm just going to show you how to repair it. Um, uh, first you have to take off uh, to remove the body of the Saima. Um, well, keep in mind that these screws are really small, so uh, you have to keep them in a good place because otherwise you will lose them easily if you drop them. Or um, yeah, so there's uh, there's the PCB. You have to pull the motor out, and then you need your solder. Um, you need to need to desolder. Um, um, the wires from the solder joints. Well, keep in mind these solder joints are really small, so you need a small solder tip too, and you'll need experience with soldering because just don't do it if you can't sold. Just bring it back to the shop or send it back. But if you can do it, it's it's a uh, less expensive uh, method. And then and then you get your new motor, of course here, um, and you sold and you solder it um, on the PCB. On the right spots, of course, you have the um, uh, the red and the yellow wire. So just have to be careful and see where you have to solder them. Um, yeah, uh, here's the last one. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell about this part. Um, Sometimes it could, it could take a little time. Um, I don't know what to say anymore. This is basically all I can tell. Just um, don't mess it up if you can't do it. Just don't do it. Um, also, when you put the wires back, um, be sure that you don't uh, crush the wires because that's probably the reason why the motor got broke. Um, broke at the first time but now um here's a small test here's a test and there's the motor and as you can see it works again so cool 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 it, it if you have done things like this before you do this really fast and um, you can you can just fly again. It's really easy, and then you just have to assemble the Saima, um, pull the motor back in, make sure you don't crush the uh, the wires, um, and uh, get your tiny screws there. And yeah, that's basically all I can tell. I hope you like my first quadcopter um, how-to. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.